So I found a, a mad person who is now dead. And completely unlootable. No sword. I tell you what, none of these none of these artifact hunts have turned out even remotely the way they were supposed to. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! You might be wondering, Dave, why you stood behind a cage? I thought you were leaving. No! We are not. Not yet! For, after some more searching around off-camera, I have found, finally, a clue. Uh, at least I hope it's a clue, otherwise this is going to be very anticlimactic, but... So easy to miss, but there's a little brown satchel on the top of that brown blanket there. It contains some Argonian blood, which allows you to breathe underwater for 30 seconds, swim faster for 30 seconds, resist 50% of frost damage for 30 seconds, so on and so on and so on. And the Chill's map. A map found in the Chill, according to the rumour, it should lead to the Ice Blade of the Monarch! Good. That's convenient. The mystery of the man with no name, however, is yet to be solved, but, uh, yes... The Chill's map. Map found in the Chill should lead to the Ice Blade of the Monarch. Uh, yes, okay, cool. If you're reading this, I have probably froze to death already. This map leads to the Ice Blade of the Monarch. I only ask for one thing in return. Kill the Atronarch that guards the jail. I didn't see an Atronarch here. Okay. It's a really funky looking map. That looks like a frost atronach of some kind at the top there. And then... What else you got? Well, that's the symbol of Azura, right? The moon and star? So that's Azura's shrine. And then you've got the serpent. And then you've got this other drawing of I'm not sure what. Labeled SS, I think? Or possibly 8-8, eight, eight. it's difficult to tell. The hell is that? But X seems to mark the spot between... ...that thing, which also bisects with the Azura Shrine and the Frost Atronarch. Which, I don't know, maybe that refers to the Jail? Since he said there was a f supposed to be a frost astronaut guarding this place. Oh, crikey, hello. There were three of them, as a matter of fact. And a random hawker that's just looking on like, what the heck? You're freezing. Okay, you know what, folks? I think we might go back inside <laughs> and set up a fire and warm up. Oh, dear. Uh, let's see. Uh, Merisine, I need the firewood. Please come, come here. Please. Please. For God's sake, woman. We've stopped. What's wrong? Very well. Take what you must. I need six of these. When you refuse to eat, you can only prevail. Right, or you can die horribly. Just want to point that out. Okay. No, I don't want to harvest wood. <laughs> Where am I going to harvest wood from? Well, I suppose maybe there's crates and stuff, but... Or barrels, even. The old campfire. Build as a campfire. Add firewood. There we go. 
That'll warm us up a bit. Still wearing my boots of water walking in a minute, actually. Um, the bottle of Argonian blood makes me think I might have to go for a swim if we want to find this ice blade of the monarch, and that fills me with dread for obvious reasons. Yeah, I recommend you all warm up as well. <laughs> I suppose I could send one of you to go swimming in there and get it. Maybe Roderick? That would be funny, wouldn't it? I kind of I kind of wish I can do that now, actually. I really <laughs> I'd love to send Roderick swimming down there for it instead. Uh won't work though. I think we might leave this fire in here. For now um so we can come back here and warm up because i imagine we're going to be out there searching for a little while so there we go all right chaps and uh chapesses let's go we'll come back here if we need to warm up again hopefully we won't get ambushed by more frost atronax as we leave here because that would be very annoying <laughs> no we're good mr hawker's still here but we're good so Here's our current location. Septimus Cygnus' outpost is over there. Now let's see. So, the Shrine of Azura is here. For, if we assume it's talk the Frost Atronarch on the, on the map is the chill, that would mean that I guess the weird thing, the weird, the weird picture I didn't understand could possibly be, I don't know, the Sky Temple Ruins or the College of Winterhold. In which case... The sword should be over here somewhere, actually, kind of where, near where Septimus Cygnus' outpost is, actually. So, we should probably go there, actually. We need to, anyway, so. Roll, little piece of ice. Be free! Unless you want to grow into another Atronarch, in which case, please don't be free. Please melt. And so, the baby Frost Atronarch wanders out to sea. We will sail to other continents, and once he has matured, return again for the mating season. The great on a woman's body I look. This, of course, is not how Atronarchs work, but uh, screw you, you law nerds, who I can already hear typing in the in the in the in the comments. Oh, don't Atronarchs don't mate. <laughs> oh, you can see the shrine of Azura from all the way out here. It looks really cool, actually, doesn't it? And then you've got the College of Winterhold and everything. That's awesome. Uh, Sabercat over there. What's a Sabercat doing out here? I mean, really. I suppose he's hunting the Hawkers, actually. That makes sense. It's just... I guess it swam out here? Wow. Edge of the world stuff here, really. Still the seaweed down there underneath us. <laughs> Surprised it's not too cold for that stuff to survive here, but what do I know? I'm not a botanist. Uh, something about coming out here to the very edge of the known world, right? You cannot go that way. Oh. I just wanted to climb over the top of this and have a little look at the view game, honestly. Would you be, have to be such a, such a Nazi about it? Come on, really? Screw you, man. I guess, of course, I can just wander out here with my boots, but it's not the same as standing atop the island, looking out into the sea of ghosts, wondering what might be out there. <laughs> uh, for as long as I can remember, every time there's been an Elder Scrolls game, there's always been some idiot who's been saying, oh, yeah, no, if you go into the sea in the north, there's like a sea monster. It's huge. I don't think there ever has been. I think Oblivion might have had a big slaughterfish, but that was about it. But one of these days, I hope they do that. Because oh, uh, it, it always happens. It always happens. Someone starts a rumor that there's a huge sea monster in the game. If you go far enough out to sea. And one of these days, I hope Bethesda do it. Like in the next Elder Scrolls game, they do. Actually have a giant sea monster. If you go out far enough. 
that just snaps you up and eats you, basically, if you go too far out instead of having a you-can't-go-that-way message. Um, all right, then. I've never bothered to explore most of these islands, to be honest with you. Because most of the time I don't have boots of water walking, so... Makes you wonder what's out here, I suppose. I don't feel that far from the shore, to be honest. You feel comfortable? Oh, I sure as don't, actually, mate. Thank you very much. Alright, there's a little boat. This must be... Yes. Okay, we found the place again. Good. We are actually very close to the shore, aren't we? It's really weird, because the last time I came here, I, I, it felt like I was, I was a lot further out in the wilderness than that. Alright, this is the part where we find out whether or not I transcribed the lexicon correctly. Long, assuming the guy's still here and alive, he is good. Well then, Septimus. Dig, dwell in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depth. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Why do I feel like giving this to you is probably a bad idea? Why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Who is your lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mola. Oh no. <laughs> I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke you, to that him. That was your first mistake. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, what? some dissent spread. Oh dear. A plague or two. A plague or two. I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. I've inscribed the lexicon. And if we open that thing and there's something really nasty inside, I'm going to kill it and I'm going to kill you. Give it quickly. Extraordinary! I see it now! The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick! Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. What? I'm not going out there harvesting blood. Lunatic. Oh, no. Who knows what dangers lie in this place? Burn the path ahead of you and make apologies after. I don't suppose you guys can see that. Is that just me? There's not another way out of here, is there? I like Mericene's advice, personally. Burn the path ahead of you. Kill it with fire. Oh, no. 
Uh, get your tentacles away from me. That. Have you ever Come, made love to a dead good sir. Let me Back tell you in my presence. I'd rather not. I'm. I'm guessing it's you, Hermes. I am Hermes Moore. Yes, I thought so. I've been watching you since you defeated Mirak. Your progress is most impressive. What do you want? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. <laughs> what? No. Say you. No. No, 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 no. I'll no. Not a chance. I've, 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 I've already seen what happens to the people who serve you, mate. Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm I'm only slightly worried. Never mind the fact that in my head right now I'm screaming in terror. Uh right. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, let's go find this sword, shall we? Hell is it? That is somewhere. Wait, we're here. Anything to distract me from what's just taken place? Uh, right, yeah. So, really. Oh, do you think it's no? If it was referring to Isgrimor's tomb, the map wouldn't make sense. Um. So yeah, it must be referring to Winterhold on the map, which therefore means that yeah, it should be around here somewhere, right? But of course. In order to find out, I need to go swimming, and that is a not a terribly practical thing to do, all things considered. I may have to resort to using my magical dragonborn senses. Unless there are no such Dragonborn senses available to me. It would appear not. Oh dear. Um, this little ice thing keeps following me around. Stop it. What I need is some of that stuff you can make. The stuff that allows you to swim in frigid water without dying. I just don't know how to make it. I 
feel like it must be around here somewhere. Oh, there. there you are. Roderick. You don't see anything in the water, do you? I feel like it must be around here. If the map is correct, which the map may very well not be, of course. Um, can't just set up a fire here, can I? Because it won't, there's no shelter. It'll give me that bollocks sort of there's no shelter here you can't you can't warm up message <sighs> all right looks like we're heading back to winterhold i need to find a cooking fire or or whatever it is i it is i need i think it's a cooking fire and um i need to try and make some of this concoction that allows you to swim underwater in you know freezing water without you know catching hypothermia and dying horribly. That's what needs to happen, I'm afraid. There's no two ways around it. Because I'm not... We just we, we simply cannot go around, go around uh, swimming in this stuff and not expect to horribly die. So... Yep. That's just what's got to happen. Alright. Should be nearly done warming up by this fire. We're back in the tavern, obviously, in, in Winterhold, as you can see. I suppose I might go up to the college while we're here and see if I can sort out this whole kicked out of the college nonsense because uh, that's just dashed inconvenient, frankly. Um, however, I don't see a cooking pot around here anywhere, which is quite irritating. I just suppose, like, do you mind if I take a look down here, mate? I, don't, I just need to know if you've got a cooking pot, quite desperately, in fact. It, it's a matter of life and death, as it turns out. Damn. Where do you cook all this bloody food if you don't have a cooking pot? Maybe there's one in the Jarl's place. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep looking until I find one, aren't I? As you can see, as soon as I returned to, to Winterhold, the weather took a turn for the worse, as it always does. Something about this place. Hop into the Yars Longhouse and see what we can find. More fires. But, um... Nothing in the way of cooking pots. Uh, do any of you in this town cook anything? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Aye. Thanks, Kralda. You don't, I don't suppose you know where the cooking pot is. Nope. My companions and I have dire need of one, sir. It is a matter of utmost importance to, uh, to, uh, to, to the security of the realm that I must acquire a cooking pot. I know I sound quite, quite mad, but I assure you I am sane. I'm just going to have to keep checking people's houses. Maybe they've got one in the college now that I think about it, actually. I mean, good heavens. Let's hope they do. Ah, fantastic. Bernard, do you mind if I use this? No. Okay, good. Right. Aha! No, hang on a minute. No, that's not it at all. Um, oh. Might as well make that while we're here, but uh, unfortunately. Damn, I can't find it. It's not here. Beef, cooked boar meat, grilled chicken breast, horse haunch. Last and damn it, it's not here, and I don't know why. I used to be able to make this in the past. I don't think I've even used it before. God, I'm confused.
I suppose... Do, 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 do. Uh, rigid water, water can be lethal, as you can see. Um, um, Oh, there's nothing in here about it. Water? Water in the pail and other scenarios will have frigid water, which can kill you in less than a minute. This option can be disabled and defaults to off when using light mode. Nothing in here about the... Uh About the thing I'm after, though. <laughs> the rain turns to driving snow and wind. Wasn't aware it was raining to begin with, frankly, but okay. Whatever, let's go talk to the people in the college here and see if we can get this nonsense sorted out in the meantime. While I figure out how on earth I'm going to deal with this problem. Why on earth they decided to leave the ice blade of the bloody monarch? at the bottom of the ocean is beyond me. I'm sorry, but you've been suspended from the college. I can't be seen talking to you right You're now. You're the flipping archmage. If I can't talk to you about it, who can I talk to? I'm sorry, but you've been suspended from the college. I can't be seen talking to you right now. Who the hell do I talk to about it then? I'm beyond annoyed. I don't know why I'm in here, frankly. I just, I just... Where the hell's Roderick, anyway? You know what? Who cares? Who cares? I don't even know what to... I don't... Frankly, I don't want to know what he's up to. No good. Would probably sum it up quite aptly. Aptly. Blah, blah, blah. That's English language difficult. Mm. Right, it's because it's because I'm so frostbitten right now. That's my excuse. Right. I hate this place. This is my new least favourite place in the world. Used to be the rift. It's now this place. And it's getting dark, fantastic. I wonder. Let's go talk to the shopkeeper in here. She might have a tent for sale. If we are a bunch of lucky ducks, she might have a she might have a tent for sale. And if she's got a tent for sale, I might be able to use it as shelter. You couldn't possibly be you're that one from the Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. <sighs> Magnificent. And a cooking pot. I'll take those, both of them. We are now carrying too much to be able to run. However, let's see if we can't fix that. Somehow. Well, this isn't helping. Don't know why I still have that, frankly. I should have left it behind. Um, Staff of Ice Storms. Don't need that. You can take that. Um, don't think I need those either. I particularly need Croesus, but again, it's a dragon mask, so I don't want to sell it. So I'm going to hold on to that for now, I suppose. Oh, same kind of goes for these bronze scale robes, honestly. 
Don't need the cloak of Crotus though, that thing's just ridiculous. Yeah, seriously, I don't care. I just want it out of my inventory. Until next time. Uh, you know what, for now, how would one of you like to use this fancy Daedric sword? Uh, blood and fire, fire and blood. Yeah, you, you strike me as the Daedric sword kind of a lady. Uh, Keep it light. The one advantage we have is our speed. There you go. That sorted it. Enjoy. I'm going to try smithing that up at some point, but... Right. Well, it's the middle of the night now, almost, so I'm not going back out there now. We'll have to just rest in the inn, and then we'll go back out in the morning. I am still confused about that. About that whole thing with the... I'm sure you should be able to make a thing that would allow you to... Swim in the frigid water, I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> I do actually have to pay for the bed first. Turns out who runs it. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. See ya. Inns are a good place to meet other hunters and the peddlers who arm them. Alright, is this it? Is this the place? Good. Let me know if there's anything else. Right. We're gonna need some breakfast, I assume. Yep. So let's have the cooked boar meat, pork a loaf. Weird combo, I suppose, but whatever. Okay, there we go. Job done. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. You mean the one that got kicked out of the college? Right. Have we found Roderick yet? No. Okay, fine. Still off doing something. Heaven knows what. Oh, I've never gone looking around this place before. Oh, hello. Francis. Some who journey to Skyrim complain of snow. That's because they have never seen ash. In Morrowind, even the brightest days are shrouded in a storm of conflicts. I, I still prefer ash. I've got to be honest. Do, 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 do. All right. I don't think I can get any further down than this. So, uh, you know what that means? Fire! You guys figure something else out. Snowflakes begin to form in the freezing rain. Hooray! Although, once again, I'm pretty sure it wasn't raining to begin with. So, what I need to do is... Well, God damn it, I actually do need them. Because mericine has got the rest of the firewood. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Um, what we do need to do, though, is we need to set up a little campfire and the tent nearby so that I can quickly dive down into the water and go looking for this sword and then quickly come back up again and immediately dry off and warm up because otherwise we's going to be dead dead extremely dead if I ever get my hands on the sadomasochist who was responsible for that sword being at the bottom of the ocean I will not be held responsible for my actions. I refuse. What do 
wouldn't really, really be a sadomasochist now that I think about it. Would it just, just, just a plain old sadist. Uh, that would be the Rickling camp over there that has non-functional fires. The most annoying kind of fire. As it turns out, no sign of any of my companions at this point. They seem to have all abandoned me. How irritating. Right, that big old ginormous island out there, that's the chill, I think. And Septimus's outpost is over here. Yeah, there's the boat. Okay. Am I going to have to wait out here or something? Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go inside here and maybe they'll magically appear. We can only hope. Ah! Fantastic, you've all caught up. Brilliant. Alright, so. These caves run dark and deep. Watch yourself. Blaze a trail and leap in your Right. Okay, guys. So, this is the way this is going to work. I am going to set up a fire thing as soon as I get the wood off you. Somewhere here. I can get away with setting it up here. Probably not, actually. Well, it's not enough, not, not enough room for the bloody tent as well. Uh, could I set up the tent on here? Is that a thing I could get away with? Maybe. Um, let's try it. Looks like maybe I can, yeah. Alright. Okay, this is a bit bizarre and weird, but we'll take it. Now then, Merisine, where the fuck have you gone? Oh my god, really? Roderick was swimming around back here earlier, he didn't have a problem. You dumbasses, where have you gone? Ah! This is annoying. This is really, really annoying. We're having what's it's one of those episodes, folks, where everything goes wrong Early. and the game does its absolute Early. best. Only farmers and roosters enjoy this hour. To annoy the shit out of me. Um Keep it light. The one advantage we have is our speed. Please tell me I can still run. Yes, I can, good. Right. I hope the tent's close enough. I'm to think it might not be. Let's put it danger close, shall we? There we go. Yeah, it's turned yellow now. Add firewood. Right. It would appear it's time I went for a swim. In my ebony armor, because... Screw physics, frankly. God, it's deep. It's deep as fuck, and I can't see anything. Oh god, now I'm now I'm drowning. That's just that's just magnificent. This is why I need the. Where is it? I'm going to actually drink blood, aren't I? And it might not even be here as well. That's the thing. Like I have no really solid evidence to prove. God, being underwater like this reminds me of flipping. Why does this ice thing keep following me around? Reminds me of... Oh, Jesus, I just got the luckiest find in the world. 
Give, give, give. Now, I need desperately to get to the surface. You feel your consciousness slipping. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me, let me up, let me up. Yeah, let me up. Darkness engulfs your mind. That's not good. That's really not good. I hope that's not effect, an effect of the blood I just drank and it's actually just cold. Ah, uh, where am I? There we go. Fire! 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 Now! 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 Oh god. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want ever to- I don't ever 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 want to do that again! Ever! Ever! Where the hell is everybody?